and I've, I've been touring with the Wonderland uh, Productions uh, version of the picture of Dorian Gray, which has been playing in all kinds of unusual and interesting venues, uh, particularly country houses, country house hotels, cafes, restaurants. And it, that is an exciting part because people increasingly love to see theatre in places that aren't theatres. You could make, you could make for there. Where we got, we just look at where we are. Um, I believe you're actually a very good husband, but you're thoroughly ashamed of your own virtues. And it's a very direct, very intimate, very special experience. And I, I would certainly be very committed to, to this form of theatre. Uh, half of the, the pleasure is that the, the adapting it, it's you know, site-specific, well, adapting to each specific space really keeps it very, very fresh. So we can play that, we can play this here, can't we? Yes. It's your best work, the best thing you've ever done. I enjoy being independent, having, if you've got a show, being able to go out and do it, not being having to wait to see if you're going to get Arts Council subsidy. Um, so, you know, there, there is a touch of the you know, old-style travelling players. This show goes into two cars. There's four of us. Um, the set is minimal. The venue provides the atmosphere, if you like. We borrow furniture from every venue we go. So we travel with props and costumes, a few bits of lighting. So it's absolutely minimal. Um, uh, minimal clutter touring. It is the finest portrait of modern times. Mr. Gray, come over and look at yourself. Is it really finished? Quite finished. The sense of his own beauty came over Dorian like a revelation. The challenge of doing it with just three actors, and it's a novel with all sorts of characters, um, has been a really satisfying one and, and we're very happy with the way it's turned out. So am I. Perhaps I shall see you later at Lady Thornbury's. I dare say, my dear. <laughs> <laughs> Never marry a woman with straw-coloured hair. <laughs> it's a bit like a rock and roll band on the road. Uh, you just get your know, performers and bits of equipment and an old van and you can go anywhere. And there's a great freedom in that. And there's a great freedom in uh, being able to take a theatre show out and about in that way. It is now 18 years since Prince Charming made me what I am. He hasn't changed much since then. I have no. People increasingly love to see theatre in places that aren't theatres. And it's a very direct, very intimate, very special experience. And I, I would certainly be very committed to, to this form of theatre.